Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's continue our complete beginner's guide to Dinkum. Oh, butterfly. You know, I just can't help but catch a butterfly. And it's a new day. It's day three. So let's check in. Collect five shells. Cook something at the cook table. And smash five rocks. Well, that sounds great. But I don't have all of that yet. And that's okay. I've got a good amount of money. We've got 5,000 dinks. Let's go see. Hello there. What can I do for you? Well, do we want to apply for a license? All right, then. Sure. Let's go ahead and we need, we've spent enough money at John's shop, but let's get some licenses that will help us do exploration activities. So we're going to get a fishing license. Great. And then do I want anything else here? Well, yes, I do. Do you know what I'd like? I would like a hunting license so we can craft basic weapons. Just for self-defense purposes, this seems reasonable. Great. And now we can make a wooden bat. So we got a blueprint, a basic spear, a basic hammer. Great. And there's a trapping license, which is now available. And here we go. Look at this. The tool belt license just became available. So this gives us an extra tool belt slot so we can put another item on our hotbar. Um, and this is fantastic. So I'm going to buy this. Boom. We got it. Okay. So now we've got even more that we can put down here. And let's see. What do I want to put down here? Right now, actually, I'm okay with what we see. And let's go out. I bought a bunch of stuff with license points. In my opinion, as you're starting out, you can really just buy all the low-level licenses because you're going to get the points so fast it makes sense to do so. Now, we need to collect some shells today, so let's do that anyway. And there's a little bug over here. Hey, I caught a fly. Okay. And look, we got something. Entomology. So, we have five different bugs that we've caught, so we get 100 permit points right there. And we also get a bug catcher. And 100 more for catching 10 total bugs. So, you see how rapidly the permit points come in to buy licenses that I just buy everything that I can cheap. Now, I do prioritize the passive stuff that lets me hold more items or equip new things that I want. And let's see, one, two, we just did the daily right there. And I'm going to pick up all these shells. It's super easy. They stack well. We're going to go into the shop and make a bunch of money, but I really believe if seashells are close to you it's a great way to make yourself some money all right go ahead here and we've got that uh there's some birds and i'm okay with what i've got i'm gonna run back to uh john's shop and sell and we need to talk to john because let's go ahead and open this up we can go over to tasks and it says we need to do favors for john for convince john to stay so we've already spent enough money. We need to do favors. And the way to do favors is to talk to him. And we need as much time as possible. We're not sure what kind of a favor he's going to request. Welcome. Uh, I want to chat. What do you want to chat about? You got a job for me? Would it be too much trouble for you to catch a jungle perch? You can usually catch a jungle perch in the rivers. Um, no problems. Thank you so much. So he wants us to go fishing. And luckily, we just spent the 250 permit points to get the fishing license. So we can attempt this. And let's go ahead and talk. And we want to sell. So I'm going to just be selling everything I've got shell-wise. 
There we go. And I have all these extra butterflies, so I will sell those too. And anything else that I want to sell at the moment? These shells. The Rue Poo. It's fertilizer when you do farming, but I'm fine. And this is great. I'm going to sell this. And let's see, we have about 5,400 dinks. Look at this. He's going to give us like 2,600 for those shells. Beautiful. Thanks for visiting. And we're going to buy the fishing rod. Oh, that's a fishing rod. A rod used for fishing. It's 1,200. Buy it. Great. Thanks for your purchase. Okay. And let's see. I believe we do have the shovel. We have the pick, we have the axe, we have the net, and now we have all of his tools. We have the table saw too. We don't have the barbecue, but we don't have enough money for it anyway. Now remember, we can get these tickets by, you know, because there's a kind of event for fishing. So that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and put this uh, down here. And I'm going to put it instead of these nails like that. I do want to... We need palm... Um... We need palm wood to get some of the crafting things that we're looking for, making boxes and such. So he said in the rivers, in the jungle. So this is these are rivers over here, uh, and this might be jungle area. So you can tell what biome it is by the colors. So let's go to these this area and see what we can find. Now we could craft a weapon, but I plan on basically just trying to run away from most things at this point. Not too worried about anything. Hmm. Hostile dingoes, maybe. Usually not. Sometimes the dingoes will be mad. And they, they will come at you, but... Let's just hope not. Oh, I see a palm tree right over there. So let's make note of this. First of all, there's a cactus. Oh, and there's a really angry looking kind of like gila monster or lizard or something over there let's looks territorial let's not encroach and then there's also some that porcupine hedgehog kind of guy all right let's harvest these cactus figs it's a newish item and here's the palm trees right here now look at this you see uh, let me push up on the map to show you see how it's green the biome this is where it's a different type of biome so you're getting different trees and the gum trees and the things that we're used to and this is where we can find the trees that we need here we go for our crafting endeavors so i'm going to just chop these trees down and you can see we're getting palm wood we're getting palm seeds chop this down just pick all this up now i'm going to go here and Mm. Let's see. No. Okay. You know, the problem is I didn't bring a ton of food, but I have some. So if we get tired, we're going to need to go back. So I need to balance my stamina between... Oh, boy. <laughs> Hit the tree. Sometimes it's hard to target it. Just make sure the box is underneath the tree itself, the little white box. And that'll help you know if you are oriented in the right direction. I need to split my energy between fishing and chopping down palm trees. Now, here's another type of tree right here, actually. Let's get this guy. Hopefully that lizard is not outwardly hospital. I have to be honest with you. You see all the fish swimming in the river, by the way. That's what we're looking for. I am new to those lizards. They must have added those recently. And this is uh, bottle tree wood, which, nah, we don't necessarily need this. Now, we can dive, and then we can pick up the bottle tree wood. It fell to the bottom. Sometimes you can't pick up things in the river unless you dive all the way down. Now, another thing about that is, I'm going to get this. No, oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, let's just save our energy then. Let's eat. When you dive, you you can come back up by holding the B button. All right, I'm full, and let's go ahead and fish. So you fish, you just push X to cast your line. All right, it cut off. It, we did not 
catch it. Anybody coming? A bit. Okay. Now, look over here on the right. Got it. Okay, we got a Barco gun Grunter. It's hard to explain while you're actually fishing, but there's a stress meter. You... All you have to do is when the bobber goes under the water, when you hear that big splash and it goes completely under, you just hold down X and you're going to start reeling it in. And then when the tension becomes too much, it's pulling, it'll tell you to stop. And you just let go, wait, and then it'll say go. Or if it says nothing, I'll just keep reeling it in. Now we need um, a very particular kind of fish to perch. So let's look for it over here. Maybe it's this big guy. You can visually see what fish it is. It's out there. And you just kind of pull it in until it tells you to stop or boom, we got a carp. And each different type of fish, of course, they don't stack the same but you can hold X to cast out longer. And if that red on your line, I believe, goes all the way to the bottom, then you lose it. Dunk Jungle Perch, we got it. Did he say how many he wanted? Let me see here. Um, it says he just needs one. Perfect, we've got enough for the guy. I'm going to bring it back to him right now. To complete this so fishing again just to kind of walk you through it i'll show you you just push x you hold it and then you can cast out further and you can see where the fish are in the water and if there's no fish by you nothing is ever going to bite it so you need to put your line where the fish actually are another thing is um you don't need bait at least right now i don't even know if bait's in the game to be honest but you don't need it that's like a crawfish that's on the bottom. Um, I wonder if we can just go and pick that up. Mm. Yeah, we got it. It's a white yabby. So that you can just kind of pick up. And that's a freshwater mussel. So you dive down to the bottom and you can pick those guys up off the bottom. Now those fish are swimming. Now if I, let's see if I go over here and just kind of put this like this. Once they'll nibble at it, you just let them bite. That's a nibble, nibble. And then when it goes down, pull it in. And when it tells you to stop, wait. And then when you see that red bar go down, just stop. And it'll tell you to go. And just, I'm, I don't even tap it. I just hold it down. But you can find your own technique um, if you want to tap it or if you want to hold X to pull it in. I'm honestly not the best fisher in this game. But it's actually pretty straightforward. I don't do it a lot, but it's a great way to make money. And with all these prize tickets, I want to see, you know, how viable it really is. So I'm going to go to the map. And, oops, I'm going to go right here. And we're way over here. But if we wanted to, you know, um, we could mark right here that this was like a good fishing spot for us with one of these icons. Just to remind ourselves, like with the star, like this is where we fished to get the perch so that we could come back here. You can fish, obviously, in the ocean as well. And the cool thing is you're leveling up your fishing just as you're doing it. So I'll be better tomorrow. It didn't take that much energy, to be honest. Welcome. How can I help? All right. I, I wanted to chat. What do you want to chat about? Here you go. Oh, you found a jungle perch. And we just give it to him. And whatever item he wants, it'll be highlighted. Everything else is kind of grayed out, and we say give, and he says, you beauty, you always pull through for me, Dr. Incomp. Why don't I give you this in exchange for helping me out? And, oh, he gave us a monocle that we can wear. Again, the gifts are going to be random, what he gives you. And this says, 
It's John's Good Anniversary event. For every fish you sell, you'll earn a ticket. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell him these fish and see how much money we get. Now, one thing you can do, just as an experiment... Oh, look, he says, I decided I really like it here. So I spoke to Fletch, and I've applied for a deed so I can set up a permanent store here in town. Great. So we just need to do two tasks for him and kind of talk to him, and we've built it up enough so he wants to live here. So we need to make a deed for so he can move in. And this will allow us to have a permanent store in the town where we can buy and sell stuff. And it will also get him off of the visitor pad so new guests with new capabilities can come to the town. We're going to talk. Welcome. How can I help? All right. So he, let's sell him a um, grunter. And he says, look at that. Look how much. Well, people were telling me that fish make money. Look at that. That's one fish and it's going to give us 1300 all right, and he, we get a prize ticket too. So this is a great way for us to make money right now. All right, and we got a prize ticket. Now I'm going to sell the rest of the fish. I was just selling it one at a time so I could see how much money I'm getting for each item. And I'm going to sell him this, and I'm going to sell him this, and this. So kind of like all of the different fish that I've caught. Here we go, yep. All right, 4,000 two prize tickets oh he the, the crayfish might not have counted as a fish and we got some prize tickets and how much do you need um dinkum shirt oh i can get it for just three prize tickets well how much is the hat oh it's also three a cape is pretty cool a tuxedo wow croco plush this takes five fun and these are like decorative items <laughs> a frying pan not just for frying it's a cool weapon that's nice all right i'm gonna go ahead uh, and get myself this hat it's an official dinkum hat all right and then i could go into my inventory and we can say hey let's put on this hat and i just push um y and it goes to the right slot and let's also put on the monocle and look at us. Could we look any better? We have a hat and a monocle and some boots. We are rolling. All right. So let's go tell Fletch about the deed situation. And hello there. What can I do for you? Um, so let's talk about the town. Let's see. What exactly can I help you with? Can I see the deeds? Okay, here are our current deeds. And the shop deed and the bulletin board are both items that we want. Um, the shop deed, what's this going to cost? Okay, so if we want these deeds, this is something hilarious about the game. is We, we go into debt. So you can buy a deed and go into debt 75,000 dinks, which is ridiculously rough. And also... Once you do this and you're in debt, you can't take on any more debt. So you can't build anything until you pay this off. So let's say I apply for this. Okay, so we're going to apply for the shop deed. This deed will allow, once we get the materials, John to move in. Just so you know, this will put the town 75000 in debt. Don't worry, we'll pay it off in no time. There's a donation box here in the base tent. Mercifully, there's no interest in the game. So we're going to apply for the deed. Let's do it. Great. We're all set. I'll give you the deed so you can decide where to place it. Once it's placed, check the deposit box on the build site. We won't be able to start construction until we have all the required materials. So the quicker we have everything we need, the quicker we can start construction. Correct. All right. So we got that. You can also put money in here at any time to pay down the debt. And we've got the deed. So I'm going to go into my inventory and I'm just going to kick back this tin bar and we put the deed down here. And we're going to select it. And we can put this wherever we want the shop. And why don't we put the shop right back here? All right. So I've, I've selected it in the build mode. by I pushed the R3 button in to go to build mode. And then I selected this with X from my inventory. And I'm just going to say build it right there. 
Is that a good place for the shop? It is. Okay. And here it just says, building materials are required to begin construction. Should I place materials inside? And we need planks of all kinds. We have enough of gumwood planks, so I can just throw those in there. And then building materials are required to begin construction. Should I place them inside? Place it. We also need nails, which we don't have enough yet. And we need, let's see, tin sheets and palm wood planks. So remember, we did get some palm wood, but really not that many. So we're going to need to cut those into planks. And before I do that, though, I'm going to go in here into this, and I'm going to say, what would it take for me to make a wooden crate? I just need one palm wood plank, and I'm going to make that right away. I'm going to go here. I'm going to push start to open my inventory. I'm going to push Y to put these palm wood planks on my tool belt. And I'm going to just stand here and I'm going to start inserting these so we can cut some planks up. Why am I doing this right now? Why am I prioritizing this so much? Well, I'm prioritizing this with reckless aplomb because if I can build a wooden crate, boom, I can actually, um, oh, can I make another one? Uh, let's just make one for now. But what this does, and I'm going to go inside my own house, is lets us store stuff that we don't need to carry so that we have more inventory. So I'm going to put these back for a moment, put this down here, and I'm going to put my wooden crate um, um, right there. And now I'm going to open my wooden crate. You see it has inventory, and I'm just going to dump in these gears. I'm going to dump in uh, this... I could sell the muscle, I suppose, but I'm going to dump in this CD. I'm going to dump in anything I feel like I don't need to be carrying at the moment. Like um, these cactus figs, eh, that's fine. And let's see, what else do I want to put in here? Yeah, these seeds. Gumwood planks, that's fine. Palm wood planks, that's fine. This bottle wood. Don't really need it right now. Okay, everything else I might want to sell. Now, the bugs you can't, unfortunately, put in here um, because they're living. You can't just throw them in the box. All right, but great. I've really tidied up my inventory a bit. And I'm going to go back here, and let's go ahead and start making some stuff so I can make a bar, and I can make some more logs. Great. All right, here we go. So those are all my gum logs done. And now I'm gonna go back in here, my inventory, and we could put down some palm wood. And see how many planks we can get for our construction project. Now we're gonna need a few things that we don't have a lot of yet. More nails tin roof, stuff like that. That's okay. It's something to build toward, and we definitely want him on the island. All right, so let's go here, and let's put some more stuff on there. So I have some nails, and you can, you know, put a partial amount there. Now let me go over here. Now you'll see that um, I actually don't have the recipe for the sheet. So we're going to need some more tin. We're going to need to make some tin bars. And create all of the crafting stations. Let's see what our quests are. I always check our tasks. Um, so really all she wants us to do is build the house for John, which is fine. Oh boy. Okay. We're going to stay away from that happy croc. And let's say it's getting late at night, but if I want to make some money to pay off that 75 grand, let's do a little fishing. Let's see if we can catch this fish. It's right here. Bam. Look at our monocle. Look how happy we are. It's great. All right. Um, 
Now, I'm going to look at all these shells. Oh my god, it's a gold mine over here. Sand dollars. Yes, please. Shells. Oh, what a beach. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness. That's joyous. Oh, there's a fish. You want this? I swam away. Here, let's see if I can get it way out there. Let's see if this fish is interested. Now, again, the further you cast away, sadly, you know, it's the longer you're going to have to reel it in. So it makes it a more difficult proposition. You can reel it in and get it closer and then wait until, you know, is he going to, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is a tough fish. Ooh, we got a blue splot flathead. That's awesome. Okay, here's another one. Boom. Got another one. All right, great. Now, we'll probably have to sell these tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's already 8.22 p.m., so our dude has closed up shop. No worries. In the meantime... Oh. Yeah, here's here's some stuff that we need. We need some limes so we can make some more food. There's some flowers over here. This is great money. Pick up all these free logs that they're dropping everywhere. That's great. Walk away from that crock. Logs. Flowers. There's a bug right around me. I can hear it. We caught the fly. You're darn right we did. Alright. Is that metal? It is. Looks like tin, which is actually what I want. Now... There's a little bit of metal here, but not much. At this stage, you see how our pickaxe is breaking? The sad reality is that we, we would have to purchase this again if it broke. All right, I don't have a lot of energy left. So I should probably go back. But I will tell you what's over here. It's really exciting. Are all these flowers? Oh my gosh, look how many flowers. Again, I cannot tell you just how much money flowers like these give you. If you can get a big enough stack. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dump in these bush limes. I'm going to eat them uncooked. It's not great, but I want to just make sure I have enough stamina to really run around at full speed. Okay, uh, those dogs are all sleeping, and you know they, there's an expression about sleeping dogs, and we're gonna we're gonna really abide by that. All right, and sleeping crocs. Oh, bug, dragonfly. Oh, where's my bug net? Here, get it back. Got it. A towel, emerald dragonfly. Awesome. Got the copper ore, must have left one behind. And here's some more ore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the map and I'm gonna actually label this. And I like to use this for ore. Just like, hey, there's a bunch of ore so I know to come back here if I need metal. And then let me look at the map and just try to remember where is my house, it's right over here. So we can cross here to help out. Uh, let's avoid that gator. And get over here. Phenomenal. All right, let's then jump over here. Okay. Amazing. And 
let's see how we doing with what I've got metal wise I can't quite make very much but I do have enough time uh, where I can you know got all this gum wood cut some more logs if we're interested oh boy cook a bush lime get in here what were our dailies cook something at the cooking table yeah we don't have that and smash rocks let me go ahead and make some nails now we need one more set of nails and now we can dump off all the nails now the cooking table um is great but it needs a tin sheet and palm wood planks and we still yet are without the tin sheet uh recipe But that's all about um, working and perhaps some licensing issues. Let's see if Granny will talk about that. You can also make better friends with her if you want, Fletch. Uh, you got a job for me? You have a logging license. She wants three palm wood planks. It would really help me out. Um, I'll do it. Unfortunately, she wants this by the end of the day, which we really can't um, complete. Um, I don't have them. I, I'm lying. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I thought for a moment, like, maybe I do. No, I don't. I gave them all to the pr construction project. Uh, let's see. Let's talk. Although I lived in South City most of my life, it never did feel like home there. I'll tell you what. The place was chock-a-block full of houses, though. hey -o. All right. So all we need to do, it's really, really late, and I don't have much stamina, but we could attempt to run here, maybe, for the palm. But we're also really low on stamina, so it, it's a bit of a risky proposition. I don't think we can make it over there in time, uh, but I'd like to try. Let's see if we can. What? She's just swimming. All right. Go for it. Oh, limes, flowers. Even if we fail to find the palm, limes and flowers. Now, I could break the rocks if I want the permit points, but I'd rather um, try to build the relationship Oh, look, there's the palm right there, actually. And some ore. Good little spot we found here. Alright. Can we get up there? Not easily. It's an angry turkey. Watch out for that thing. Alright, so what, how do we get up there? Well, we could, you know... dig and then oop wrong way here dig here put the step down there and then jump and can we now jump yeah we got it all right great so you can kind of dig up like that if you need to climb now it's so late look at our energy bar if you stay up too late okay this is what happens pockets full oh no all right so I'm going to um, uh, drop these. All right, so to drop them, actually, you know what? I'll just eat this. And let's go. Let's see if we can make it and be a hero. But once you get out too late, you'll see it just says late. And we need to get home immediately. This is kind of to prevent you from just staying out all night.
you see our stamina is really, really bad. But we're going to try this anyway. One, two, three. All right. Fletch, you around here? Yes. Good evening, she says. Don't stay up too late, okay? This is for you. You found the planks? Let's give them to her. Give. Thank you. I'll tell you what. You're always helping me out. Here's your reward. Please take it. And so she gives us, wow, like 4,000 money. So instead of clothes, she gave us a bunch of cash. So that actually ended up being really good. All right, awesome. Well, what a third day in Dinkum, everybody. We fished. We got a hat. We got a monocle. We are now trying to work on getting John to move into the island. Everything's going great. I want to say thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're still finding this introductory beginner's guide to Dinkum to be useful. There's so much to do at the beginning. We have a lot going on, but again, don't worry. Don't rush. You know, it's all here for us. We can take our time. And if you're making different choices on your permits or focusing on different things at the beginning, that is totally okay. And we'll all get there in time once we learn the fundamentals and get some more technology and permit points and licenses. Take care, everybody.